have a gym buddy. I don't want to have a gym buddy. I want to go to the gym on my own and enjoy it on my own. Gym buddy's not going to make me accountable, like, at all. Yeah. A gym buddy for you and a gym buddy for me are two different things. <laughs> but, uh... Is the, that some sort of vernacular I'm not aware of? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, in, in the gay world, gyms can be a different okay. activity centre. Welcome to ADH Derp with Stephen and Herf. ADH Derp, where whimsy meets focus with Stephen and Herf. Join us on a journey through the quirks and cur- curiosities of ADHD as we navigate the delightful chaos of our minds and explore the magic with the neurodiverse world. Strap in for laughs, insights, and a sprinkle of randomness as we embrace the unique adventures that come with ADHD. Episode 1. How did we get here? Okay, so here we are. Episode 1. Jeez, that was good. Uh, that was fancy. I quite like that. Yeah, that I was good. Know. It was, it was, it was um, what's the word I'm looking for? Playful. Yes. That's not the word I'm looking for. But that's whimsical. The word. Whimsical. Yes. I thought you said whimsical, so I, I can't whimsy. use that. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, no, that was good. That was the vibe I was going for. I was trying to go okay. with... Uh, we're talking about this, but we're not medical professionals. It's very, it stupid. sounds very professional in terms of broadcast quality. Like, yeah, I like you, it. You're, you're a born radio head, I think. I don't Got a face like for it. radio. Yeah, I don't like it. It's, you're, you're too competent. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you're turning the balance the wrong direction that's here. <laughs> not something that would ever be used to describe either of us yeah. over time. But um, yeah, this is our first episode and our first go and our first trial of ADH Derp where we have very little of a plan in place but I suppose we should probably talk about the journey that well, brought us to where we are. Can you can you say zero plan is very little plan? Uh, it's false advertising really. We basically have f- all and we're just going to We have it. a Trello board. How dare you? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, so let's talk about what brought us to where we are. Um, So this is been a couple of months in the making, Yeah, definitely before Christmas anyway, we started talking about it. We, at the start, I think it was the start of December. Okay. uh, We started talking about doing this as a thing because, um, for anyone who doesn't know, we were both diagnosed with ADHD at different points of mm. last year. You were last year as well, weren't you? Uh, no, I was the year before originally, okay. um, but I only started um, medication. I got diagnosed by a psychiatrist last year okay. and started the med- medication last year, yeah. Right, okay. March. So I was diagnosed in September of last year um, by a psychiatrist. And was, that, was that recent? I thought it was before that. No, no, it was only then. Okay. I was looking at it since June. Um, but the actual diagnosis was in September. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, the medication was in September. The diagnosis was in August. Okay. Um, so we started talking. I didn't know you were diagnosed. Oh, you really? Didn't yeah. know I was diagnosed. We were we're just chatting in a group chat because we have a group chat with both of our uh, spouses. Um, Spe- I think the plural is species. Species. <laughs> um, yeah, but species. We we have a. Yes, that. Um, so we found out that we both had ADHD or have ADHD and we started talking about it. And yeah, which is funny as well, because like I am just awful at keeping in touch with people and feel very guilty about it an awful lot of the time. Yeah. And we hadn't actually talked in a, a very long time, I think. I think, yeah, um, I think the last time before that was probably... Yeah, it was around the time that Juliet was born, just before that, I think. Jesus, yeah. Um, and then it was probably quite brief as well. Yeah. We've had some f-ing mad shit go on in yeah. both of our respective lives over the last few years. Yeah. And they're um, probably going to be their own f-ing episodes, really, yeah, because they've yeah. been that kind of momentous occasions that have derailed the ability to f-ing communicate. Um, yeah, and like having situations like that, it's, it can almost become an excuse as well, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't want to f-ing waste my time because I've got other shit on my mind. That's the thing. And yeah. you're like at the end, like you're dealing with your your own shit, and then it comes to the end of the day, and you're just like, 
God, I'm not picking up my phone. Yeah. Or I'm picking up my phone to scroll shit. I'm not going to be like it, invest in talking yeah, with people. Yeah, it's pure escapism. Like, yeah. 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 And like talking to people isn't that because uh, you have to switch your brain on. Um, but yeah, I think we, you said we were talking about our diagnoses mm. and you said something about um, one of your goals was to do a podcast. Okay. Uh, but you said it in an offhand way. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh, cool. We should do this. Uh, and then I kind of became the, um, I kind of put loads of energy into that part <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because hyperfixation, um, which will be its own episode. Um, yeah. So then it kind of snowballed from there. But that was at the start of December. Yeah. And we said, we're going to park it for the minute. Yeah, and, I was doing exams and yeah. studying for uh, for the exams and stuff like that. And obviously Christmas was coming up. We were both getting prepared for that. And Young children. Yeah. We both have young children. Um, not together. Although yeah. that's going to be a different <laughs> focus as well. Um, that you, You'll find out about that later. Yeah. Um, the Yeah, we were both preparing for Christmas and dealing with all that. So we said we'll come back to this in early January. And I think that both of us thought that that wasn't going to happen. I think, yeah, it's funny, like, you, you know, you have all these grand intentions and obviously we're quite similar in that respect, you know, yeah, let's f***ing do this, put so much energy into it and then comes to the case where you put it off for a little bit and it's like, yeah, that, that, that's, that's not going to fucking gonna happen. Come back. Like, we, we're, like we said, we're in a WhatsApp group with our speech, um, and that group used to be called the group of failed plans. Oh, was because, it? Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> amount of times, like we used to always like make plans and just cancel. Yeah. And like it would, it almost went in f***ing turn and it would be like, whose turn is it to cancel this week? That's and the only reason we're here today because we both refused to cancel. Yeah. And it, the conversation before I came over was like, <laughs> are we going to cancel? Yeah, uh, but like, yeah, no, we've, we've cancelled so like, much shit. Give you the opportunity. Are you going to cancel? Yeah. Rachel told me to say this to you. Does I'm going to give you gonna cancel? No, yeah. I'm not cancelling. Do you want to cancel? We've we've cancelled things so even this like this was supposed to happen last week I thought and like the, it, we said we're going to do this in January it's now February um, it's pretty good going yeah that's actually like but the fact we did it and I think we both like the excitement of doing it kind of kept us both motivated and yeah. the conversation kept on happening and in that December period if we hadn't have been talking about it I think we would have just let it go. Yeah, and I think the one thing that really kind of spurred us on, like, obviously we talked about, you know, you went to hell for letter at the start and then yeah. literally the day we decided what we were doing, I went out and f***ing made a website, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, all... Graphics. Everything. Um, but I think the thing that really kind of spurred us on was that first live conversation we had yeah. where we literally just said, let's have a chat and we just f***ing shot shit for like an hour or whatever. I am so regretful that we didn't record that because yeah. there's so many things where it was like, we're wasting perfect f***ing content here. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, like, um, we and the reason we didn't do that was because we were on your work Zoom or something, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that's exactly why. <laughs> and Because we had the conversation, like, we should record this, but we didn't because yeah. I didn't have the foresight to use my I think own. I got a, a cheeky screenshot. Oh, just definitely. for Just for their memory. Happy days. <laughs> cool. Okay, I did not even think that far ahead. Um, but then, like, we started actually... See, when you started creating the website and the, all the kind of, all that kind of stuff, I was, to me, that concreted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not concrete, it cemented it and made it go, this is a real thing. Yeah. Um, and that kind of spurred me on to not let the conversation stop. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then I kept on talking about things and looking up things and so did you. Uh, and we bought equipment. And when that happened, I was like, oh, there's boxes in my landing <laughs> and they're a real thing and that means I have to do this. So um, here we are. Yeah, but like I've been in situations where I've got to that stage with things before Yeah, and they just f***ing die. Like yeah. so many times. Put a bunch of money into it, put a bunch of time into the plan, into the idea, into the con conceptualization yeah. and then it comes to actually doing the f***ing thing and it's like, meh. Yeah, but, but other like, things to do. Yeah, that's that's actually a common thing with ADHD <clears throat> is that if you, like we all know, we're, we're going to jump hobbies time and time and time and time and time again. Like how many of your hobbies can we see? How, <laughs> how many graves of hobbies can we see just up and around <laughs> yeah. the room? Um, we, 
we, we both have done that and will continue to do that. Uh, and that's, as I said, that's a common thing with ADHD that people will hobby jump. Um, I lost my own train of thought. We need a we need a button for that, you know. Yeah. Uh, what we got? Um, we have a we have a trombone. <laughs> oh, like shit. a slide oh, music down. <laughs> there you go. That's lost your train of thought. Oh, God's sake. Um. Okay. So yeah, we both hobby jump. Um. But the difference this time, I think, is that. We're relying on each other yeah. a little bit. Like, there's parts that I think trigger your excitement. And there's parts that trigger mine. And yeah. they complement each other, I think. So I think we've been able to lean on that a little bit. And, and that's, a, that's a funny thing because, you know, they always... One of these things that people always bring up is the accountability side of things. Like, yeah. make yourself accountable. But for people, I don't know about you, but for me specifically, I don't mind letting people down. Like, I'll happily say, I'm just not f***ing doing that. Yeah. And you're going to have to live with it um, if I don't want to do it. And that's something that I've built up over time that I'm like, if I'm not, if I don't want to do it and I'm not feeling like I want to do it, I'm okay letting you down. Yeah. Right. And that's one of the things why I have, have the belly. You know, they always talk about have a gym buddy. I don't want to have a gym buddy. I want to go to the gym on my own and enjoy it on my own. Gym buddy's not going to make me accountable, like, at all. Yeah. A gym buddy... For you and a gym buddy, for me, are two different things. <laughs> but uh, is the, that some sort of f***ing vernacular? I'm not aware of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, in in the gay world, gyms can be a different okay activity center. Um, but the yeah, so I used to be exactly the same. I yeah. used to not exactly the same. Sorry, I used to be the complete opposite. Okay, I used to absolutely hate letting people down. Yeah. And I like I would struggle. And Graham makes a joke about this all the time. Graham is my husband, by the way, um, who will probably never hear this. Um, the I used to really, really struggle with letting people down, and he he would always make a joke of the fact that I hated if people didn't like me and yeah. it would keep me awake at night. I was long. like that as well for a very, very long time. It's only when I went on medication that mm. I stopped. Where I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't, that's their opinion of me. That's yeah. not reflective of me. That's just their f***ing opinion. And that's, that's their problem. So I don't know. I can't remember what the, what the watershed moment was for me with that. Um, I think it might've been to do it like a TV show or something, you know, where they said something like that. Yeah. And I was like, f yeah, like why? I don't need to be liked by, like, yeah. I don't and like everybody so how can i expect everybody to like me i'm a bit of an abrasive bastard you are at the best of the times yeah. so and i've gotten worse over how the years as well me and graham slipped through that sandpaper exterior i'll never know yeah i think that's purely down to my persistence and stubbornness maybe i and that's like i i'm a bit like a golden retriever that way i just don't let go and like you can kick me as many times as you like, and I'm like, okay, let's go again. <laughs> Don't um, tell the people that I kick you. <laughs> yeah. um, That's no, but just I, at night time. I think um, as well, it's like we became fast friends because we're kind of we have similar mindsets. Yeah, you know, we're kind of very easy going. Yeah, but also very uptight in our own specific ways. Very, very yeah. fucking specific. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. Like it. I don't, I like back when we, like we've known each other, what, nine years or so now? Um, is it even that? It's a long is time. It? Yeah. yeah, it's quite a while. Too long, some might say. Yeah, I agree. Um, too long with this level of sexual tension. <laughs> um, the, yeah, like, oh, brain just farted. Um, <laughs> 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 Yeah, so... What was I saying? Jesus, no, I can't remember. Um, We've known each other a long time. Hang on for a sec. I f***ing love that. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We've known each other a long time. Uh, so, uh, there we go. Yep, yeah, there's a mic, and I have to stay beholden to the mic. <laughs> 
Are you talking to the watch? What just happened? <laughs> Shh. Okay. And now um, it all descends into f***ing madness. Yeah, well, we knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have known each other a long time. And we, yes, there we go. Got it. Nice. Um, okay, so we have known each other a long time. If I say that sentence one more yeah. time. Um, but we connected because of similarities that we weren't even aware of, I think. You know, like, uh, but not e- not even just similarities. It was like, because they were, like, were f***ing not similar at all. No. It, like, I think it was similarities in the way jigsaw pieces are similar, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There were, like, complementing aspects, I think. I, th- I think, so, what I was going to say originally was, I think, for me, I... It's very difficult for me to put effort into people. Yeah. You know, I don't, if somebody's hard work, it, I, I can't. And I think maybe that's why we got on quite quickly because you did all the work. Yeah. You know, Fair to say. <laughs> it was easy for me to just be like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 and go about my business. And, um, you know, I was happy to let you take the reins of the friendship relationship. Yeah. Um, and... And I'm also happy to take that role yeah. because I'm like, oh, yay, let new toy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I that's that's something that commonly like Graham gets sick of that because I'm well known for bringing back strays. Yeah. And you and Rachel were strays. Yeah. Basically. Um, and he had his core group of three friends that he still has. And when he met me, that grew <laughs> exponentially. <laughs> And he hates it. Like, yeah. I, like we have so many different groups with so many subcategories and stuff like that. And I he don't just, like that. he's like, go away. Just yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. stop bringing people and this into is my the, life. This is the other funny thing because me and Graham are the grumpy bastards of the relationship. Yep. Where you and Rachel are like the happy outgoing people. Um, Positive yeah. affirmation. Like, yeah. Which is, is, it's like weird that we connected in the opposite way. Although yeah. it probably isn't because... You know, you're... I have a Graham and you you're have a Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. yeah. You know? So it, on that level, it makes sense. And again, explains the sexual tension. Yeah. yeah we never <laughs> never figured that one out. Um, so yeah, that's that's what brought us here. Yeah. And it's funny as well, because I've been... I, I've said it to a few friends over the years, you know, the idea of doing a podcast has always, you know, kind of glowed for me. It's yeah. always something that I wanted to do. I'm not a huge talky person. I don't talk an awful lot. You know, yeah. um, but the idea of sitting around and chatting about something with someone and maybe even not with someone, you know, just always kind of sat in the back of my mind as something I'd like to do. But I never had that one idea of what it could be. Yeah. I play games. Will I do it on games? I do music. Will I do it on music? And nothing ever really popped up for me um, until, you know, like you mentioned, that f-ing offhand comment. Oh, yeah, it was, I always wanted to do a podcast. So we're doing it podcast <laughs> okay. and then it was just perfect yeah you know and yeah i think like we both let ourselves has my ch- sound changed have it i sounds all right something? to me okay grand um we both kind of let each other take the reins in different aspects of that mm. um yeah like i had no intention on investing anything yeah i was just like ah, i'm sure harv is everything we need and then I actually looked into it and was like, no, 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 you're going to have to actually put your hand in your pocket, you tight fuck. Um, I, I love it, even though we mentioned earlier that you literally only need your phone. But we convinced ourselves that we needed all this fancy shit. Yeah. Like, look how sexual these microphones are. Like, yeah. I've never owned a mic. Like, the only microphone I've ever owned in my life is the ones that come with your headphones. Like, Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is like, I, I'm in space right now. Um, and this, like. It looks great, that one. It really does. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the arm and mm. all that kind of stuff is just like we might as well be in you two you yeah. know like <laughs> um, why is that the example I used there's so many better bands um, but yeah so that's that's where we are now this is episode one we don't have a uh, title for episode one we we spoke for the guts of an hour and a half before we even started the intro so yeah. that um, shows how much of a plan we had the Maybe we should just go, the concept of episode one is just the beginning. Yeah. Like, not actually, like, our our future episodes, hopefully, will have a loose plan. Yeah. We'll talk about different aspects of ADHD, of which there are several. 
Um, we're going to focus on particular symptoms. We're going to tell our own stories in relation to those. And we are going to maybe have some guests. On. Yeah. And I think as well, like one of the main things we said when we started this off was like, it's going to be just a, a, ch a chat. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not coming into this with a huge, big, you know, developed plan or roadmap or any crap like that. It's, we're two guys who enjoy chatting to each other yep. about, yeah, we talk about ADHD. We talk about random other shit. We both gone through some mad shit in the last few years. So no doubt that will come up. But um, yeah, we're just going to shoot shit and talk See where it goes. bull crap for a while. Yep. And if people like it, hooray. And that's a wrap on the first episode of ADH Derbcast. We hope you enjoyed diving into the wonderful chaos of ADHD with us. Remember, we're on this journey together. Whether you're navigating daily challenges or celebrating your ADHD wins, whatever the situation, we're here to share the ride with you. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share your thoughts with us. Let's keep the conversation going until the next time. Until then, stay quirky, stay awesome, and keep embracing your unique ADHD journey. Take care and we'll see you on the next episode of ADHD Aircast, where we'll delve into our experiences with the assessment and diagnosis process. 